Yeah, I work in construction, so and when I have a hard day, I work hard. So the next day, I got when I you know go pick up something, I got pain in my back, my my neck, and I you know so I feel I don't feel that good. Mm. Okay. And now I have an accident when I was a kid and in the car, so and I had my nose and I hit I break the glass with my face, so I have my nose and I have my 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 hands too. I got a few things. All right, let's come a little closer. I'll show the viewers over here. You look straight on. Yeah, this is very visible, that deviated septum. So it went to the right, going this way and going that way again. Okay, so what's going on on that uh, right hand over there? It was um, a block fell right in, the, in my hand. Uh -huh. and, but it was it is like, 15 years ago, so I get used to it like that. So you can see it got in, you don't have it. I don't have it right there. Gotcha, so there's something going on here. All right, we'll take a look in the films, see what happened to that. So we're talking about landing right here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so this is definitely protruding compared to your left one. See, nice and smooth here. And yeah, it does feel like a nice little elevation here. So something happened there. We'll take a look in the films on that one. Okay. So let's have you take a seat. And let's go down the list. Next down the list is uh, the knees. What's been going on that one? Oh, sometimes I have pain in my knees. Mm -hmm. Cause it's not, not a big, not a big thing. So. All right. All right. So cool. So what's going on with the feet? The feet, I have, um, when you walk, you see the, I mean, when the, the shoes is older, you see it's not straight, it's not level. So I, I think I walk by the side. All right, so we're doing a scan of your spine here, core instrumentation. And right now what we're looking for is there any abnormal temperature going on. Now when a structure gets damaged, it, one of the byproducts of inflammation is heat. That's what this device here picks up. We're looking for that abnormal heat. Now, inflammation is not necessarily a bad thing. It is just simply an alarm system telling the body, hey, you gotta go fix this fellow right here. So right now we're just marking the particular levels, levels of interest. It doesn't necessarily mean the problem is exactly right there. Because I want to collaborate, make sure every single data, all of it, they have to correlate. They need to correlate. They need to be all the same as much as possible to ensure that the particular problem that we want to address is really right there. Tender here. How about here? Any tenderness, discomfort? Nothing? No, no. It's a little bit stuck on the left, but not too bad. Yeah, you got something here. How's this fall right here? A little bit, right? Yeah. What about here? This is more fixing and stuck. With that fourth lumbar. Yeah. Hey, where is it? We got something here. We got something here. How's that fellow right there? Oh, yeah. yeah. We have some swelling here. We're going to show up in the scope. Let me take another look at that instrumentation. Yeah. See, this fellow's chronic. It's been there for so long. Yeah. It was very subtle. Yeah. It's right there, actually. Right there. Here's another one. Got 
this under right here. There's a swell over here too. Right there. Okay. Let's check the rest of you. Right there. Tender right there, huh? He's somewhat fixated here. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Open the mouth. Close. Yep. Got TMJ going on right there. Okay. Bills. Okay, so here's the bottom line that we're taking a look in your case. Now, I tested confirm, right? This sacrum, it is slightly misaligned. Now, however, I believe it's more coming from here, this fourth lumbar. See that this, this, this space over here mm -hmm. right, is a little taller in relation to everything else. We test confirm that one, that fourth lumbar really is in trouble. Oh. So that's the one we need to correct first to help restore more nerve function of pelvis, to help that thing unlock. Now, because this thing became unstable, that's the reason why we're seeing the rest of your spine became unstable. See, so you move to the right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, so we've got a domino effect. And because of that chain reaction going on here, that's what we also see this part over here. There's something break down, right? That's what we call it a DJD, right? In essence, this is what I'm supposed to see over here, right? This is supposed to be normal over here. And that's where I see these little, yeah. right, those little tooth marks, okay? Uh -huh. The bone's growing outward because as you see over here, see that? It's contained. This is contained, it's staying with this position. But when it starts to get damaged, it starts to bulge outwards. So when it starts to bulge outwards, the body says, hey, well, what is second? Where are you starting to go? Right? We're gonna keep you in the proper position. And but yet it's still trying to go overflow. So in order to contain it, that's what the body does. It starts growing all these bones upwards, oh, and trying to push the disc back into proper alignment as oh, best it could. Yeah, wow. right, as best it could. But it's, of course, there's a certain limit, right? So that's what we're starting to see here. All right. All right. All right. So that's where you see that bulge right there. Yeah. Right? We're talking. It's just starting to make that happen. So how do we address this? Well, I can remove that bone part itself. All right. But your body. Eventually, once it recognizes that this is more stable, it will break down that extra bone by itself. All right? It just takes time. It's not immediate, not even a few months. We're talking several years to make that process happen. So the, the big game is this. We need to stabilize this region here first. When we take all that tension off your spine, in essence, from here, mm -hmm. your body did this. And that's where mm -hmm. this is taking the hit. So when we untwist the spine, take all that tension off, this should start calming down and it'll start repairing itself. Right? right? So after I correct this, I'm gonna retest that ball, see if we need to address it and correct it. Right? Then we're gonna address this one, that one, and then the one up there as well. So this is what we're looking at. So for both of the knees over here, right? Right. your right knee is actually more normal level, but it's slightly misaligned as well. What I want to see is this, these heights over here, uh -huh. they have to be the same, same height. This is just slightly bigger on the outside, but this one we can clearly see is even taller over here. Yes. So what we're looking at is this fellow over here, right? We're looking at this bottom bone that's misaligned, that's all we need to correct, right? But we're looking more towards like the backwards over here as well, okay? It gapped open like this, right? So this bone over here gapped this way, Bottom piece, that's what we need to correct. Both of these are we got PX tickets. So, next part. Okay, for the wrist in your hand, this is what I'm seeing. Right? We got multiple things going on. Right? I see you know the radius itself is slightly misaligned, the lunate, you know, also misaligned that way. But the whole answer was that bony part we feel over here. 
See, this is what I see here. There's an old damage here. Your bone we grew back, and that's what you're feeling. Yeah, see, this is bony part right over here. There is nowhere gonna change that. Okay, right. Your bone is it's just screwed. You know, it's a the best mechanism that your body did. So just like anything else, when we put stress onto our bone and it starts to compromise it, either we fracture it or we break it. What the body does is this: you start depositing more calcium and more bone matrix onto it. So make sure that it bonds and doesn't really break again. So that's why it's highly unlikely to have another fracture in that same area because it's so much stronger than the surrounding areas. Oh, okay. So that's what your body did over here. Okay. You just made that so much more strong. See, mm. you yeah. see, well, see this over here? Yeah, yeah. No. Over here, it did that, but see all this? This is extra deposit of bone right in that matrix right there. So that's what that's, that's a strong. Oh. So you may have had a hairline fracture or you, know, you did something in there and your body just made that really super strong in that region right there. So there's, there's nothing we can do. I'm oh, sorry, what? There's, there is nothing we can do? No, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's okay. Okay, okay. As long as you're not too crazy with the cosmetic appearance of no, it, no, it's you know, then that's, we're okay. That's, that's, that's. Okay, left foot. So again, this one, I'm starting to look at some other stuff. All right. So I'm seeing a slight talismus line over here. Okay, calcaneus is misaligned. That's where we see this extra gap over here. Uh -huh. And we're not supposed to see that. Whereas if we see on the right, okay, actually even this one's also misaligned as well. So the right one, we also have this gap, this calcaneus, I'm gonna double check. The talus is also slightly misaligned as well. Q board is also slightly misaligned. So we're gonna check everything in there, okay? So let's get to work. <coughs> Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, that's a biggie. Oh my god. Okay, walk him out. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that stone is a set. Just let it go. Just gonna do a nice little gentle set on this one. Just let it go. Nice and done. Let it go. I feel something here. Oh, so for two is over. Turn around. It's gone. So where do you? Okay, turn around a little. Where do you should feel it? Yeah, always. I feel something here. And now it's gone. Yeah, remember there was that that you know that breakdown of that bone over there. Oh, okay. And that's that DJD. So, and another point is that th these nerves over here, right? It also deals with so many functions in your body in regards to like, the adrenal glands, the kidneys, small intestines. But on top of all that, okay, this is also biomechanically important. It's, it's what's keeping your whole entire spine upright. And we still see here from the from the visual from the visual standpoint, we still got work to do because we see a nice arc over here. Okay. And we see a little excessive arc over here. And you see how flat it is over here? Uh -huh. Right? So when you take a look in the mirror, you know, your spine is very flat over here, and then you have now another ridge over here, right? This is not normal. So okay. there's a lot of biomechanical compromise you got going on your spine over here that we need to address. This is not a short-term correction whatsoever. This is going to be a long-term matter we need to address for the next several months. Okay. We're talking a minimum six months to restore the biomechanics here because we need to get this thing a lot more springier 
same thing here and here, right? So leave you all that tension you've been experiencing over here and here as well. All right. All right. Okay. Let's do the next parts. Okay. Yeah, both towels are compromised. Calcaneus is compromised. Oh, calc is not too bad on this one. But talus is a must. All right. Let's start with this one first. Okay, got half of it. Got a little more deeper. Let it go. Okay, good. Now we're going to get the calcaneus next. See, this is still fixated. Great, right? that's supposed to be moving, it's not. And what we have here. Is okay on your belly. All right, I'm gonna pop this down a little more. Okay, there we go. Good. Get a little more. This thing really suck. Got a little more out of it. Good. Almost, almost got all of it. There we go. There's that fella. Nope. Walk around. See you like it. Oh yeah. I should. Should that. Feel good. Good. Have a seat. Let's check the knees. Misaligned both PX tips. Okay, yeah, it's all swollen over here. Both of them. So, we're gonna pump this up first before we set these knees. Hold on to the top, a little. That's one. There we go. There's two. Okay, walking around. Definitely, I feel better. Were we having trouble with those knees again? Were you had trouble squatting with them? No, I mean, I feel the pain, but once in a while, not, not. Not too often, no? no? All right, next part. Yeah, you gotta fix those sinuses too. All right, champ. Just breathe right there. Okay, there we go, that's part of it. Come on up. Have a seat. Not done yet. No. That body is I mean, it got pain in there. I know this. Okay. See, both your sinuses, both of them are infected. So the next thing I want you to do is this. Breathe only to your nose, deep breath in. Breathe out. Oh. I know. I know. It's uncomfortable. Breathe out. Oh, out. Yeah. Breathe in and out through your nose. 
Oh, through your nose, nose only. Deep breath in, breathe out. Deep breath in, breathe out. Okay. Deep breath in, breathe out. Deep breath in, breathe out. Okay. Give it a whirl, see how you like it. How's the breathing? Yes, I, I breathe good. Nice. Wow, very nice. <laughs> you like it, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I can't believe it. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> oh my god. Now let's check your hand. Yep. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, that's what they set these things. Okay, yep, no needs out. <laughs> Set this poor fella in. Just let her go. Yeah. Oh, a little more. There we go. There it is. There we go. Good. Just look at that. Just relax. Distract all the way. There we go. No more. Good. Okay. Give it a whirl. So you like that? Nice. Very nice. I feel like it's stronger. Good. Let's see what you do with your left one then. See if there's anything in there. You're holding on to me, huh? I feel it. Yeah, this thing's not fun either. See, that's the thing. That's why it's important to get the history and all. Since he's a construction worker, obviously they're working a lot with their hands. So, your loony on this one's also not that great either. Let it go. There we go. Good. Give that one a try. See if you like it. Yes. Hey, <laughs> we're still missing the oh, last part. Okay. Say the best part for last. Have a seat. Okay. Go ahead. Open the mouth. Close. Open. So you're deviating towards this way. So you have a left TMJ. Yep. You have a left AI TMJ. Okay. And palms on your own lap. There we go. Open, open wide, close, slowly close. Open, close, good, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. A little bit more, stand up for me please. Stand up please. Open, close, open, close. Okay, this is side now. Open, close, there you go. Open, close, open, close, okay. Open, close, open, close, open. Okay, do this side. Have a seat. No, just head down, head just. Open, close, open. Close, not too fast, open, close, good, open, close, good, okay, so, like that, open, close, there we go, here's our roll, see how you like it? Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. I think that thing is still not a little bit here. You know, very slight. Very yeah, slight. Yeah. No, the deal with the with that one is this. Right? With the TMJ, 
right, your jaw, there's a joint you need to connect to. Oh, okay. right? It's like a ball and socket over here. Okay? It needs to swivel. Now, because of over time, because you're the chain J on you, it went over towards that way a bit. Okay. So as a result, okay, the groove that's supposed to keep your mandible in place got worn out a little bit. So what I did was, it's sort of like a patio screen door. We had the rail that keeps it in place, the guide. It's supposed to keep it in alignment. Okay. But because one of the wheels jump off the track, right? And we keep on using the jaw while we're talking and chewing food, so on and so forth. Eventually it's gonna grind down that track. So it's not gonna be 100%. So what we gotta do is on future visits, we're gonna repeatedly and gently realign it and what your body has to do is that once it starts recognizing, oh, hey, it's a proper alignment, it's going to start regrowing that track and start to keep it in place. But right now, because it's slightly worn out, that's why you feel it. It's like slightly still wavering in and off the track. That's what's happening. It's gonna take several months for your body to regrow the grooves on both sides over here. You just have to be patient. Okay, right? no, but, but any, time, anyway, it's way better. It's way better, right? When I, when I have closer, it's mm -hmm. where I feel well, yours is not that severe as all the patients I've seen. Okay, so this is just, I would say, like a moderate damage. So this will most likely it'll recover and regrow that groove over there within the next one to two months. Okay. That's all right? Good. All right. Okay. Thank you, Ben. Oh, you're very welcome. welcome.